Hey, what's up? I know it's been a while and I haven't done any kind of a update on the Dragon. Uh, I've had internet issues and different things. So right now I'm just doing a quick, just update real fast. Uh, you'll notice there was no fancy beginning or anything else. The head of the Dragon is a lot further along than what you guys saw last time. I'm going to show you guys. I've got footage of all that stuff. I'm going to put together in a normal video and how I normally post. And I'll show you guys that stuff and kind of explain how I went. This is such a big project. I didn't set up a video camera every single time I went to work on this thing. It's just so big and running out of time for Halloween. So just trying to jam through it and get it done. But I did take some footage of it and I will show you guys and explain how I got to where I was. But I did want to show you guys this real quick because if you follow along on Facebook, you know that this year I was going to do a, a big elaborate body and I will probably still do it for next year. Ran out of time and I decided to do like a serpent style uh, body that comes in and out of the ground in the yard and think it's going to work. Uh, didn't really have good materials, budget's real tight as normal uh, to get these things done. So what I did is I took plastic Walmart sacks like we do with making the pumpkins, stuffed them all, and then I taped them together, ran a layer of mache around it, and strengthened it up until eventually get a couple things like this that are finished out. Those are gonna have a couple more layers of mache and then the plan after that is put some horns on those as well. And then I'm going to just take um, plastic sheeting and heat shrink it with a gun and bring it down. Um, Oakland, Oakwood Cemetery, I believe that is the name of it on Facebook. He's got a great tutorial where he took some pool noodles and made this freaking awesome arch. And he was using... Um, Plastic corpsing, plastic wrap, we all know how it's done, but he's got a great tutorial on how he did it and got a really cool vine um, wood effect. And I'm going to use those same principles on these pieces that come off the back of the dragon, of course, because it's supposed to be a pumpkin vine that's morphed into a dragon. So just a quick update, showing you guys what I got going on. I wanted to show you how I got these things together. It's on the cheap. I haven't spent really any money on this thing, so i got to get to work and get a lot to do this weekend. I'm going to try to get this thing almost finished up by next weekend, so all it needs is paint, so I can start working on the yard. Catch you guys later.